Good evening, YouTube, and members of the Temple of the Adversarial Forge. This is Palm. I'm a little perturbed right now. Um, first of all, the whole essence of this particular video isn't that... wonderful, I suppose, for lack of a better term. And I've been trying to do this video for the past hour and a half. I just keep getting interrupted. Um, I have some things to do, but after that I want to try and crank out a couple videos that deal with more practical exercises that you can integrate. Give you an idea of how I do things. Um, but this particular video is a rant, and I really don't know how it's going to go or where it's going to go because there's just a fuse that was lit and I'm trying to put it out. So I guess this is really an exercise in emotional control. So let's see how I do. First things first, the debate between theistic and atheistic left-hand path ideology. Just stop it. Quit. You know, here's the thing, I've worked a lot of different paradigms. And honestly, I didn't like any of them, theistic or atheistic. There's one that I follow. And I think it's more because I respect the man. As well as the current. And I really believe in him and what he represents as an individual. But the most effective sorcery that I've done, I've created myself. However, I have worked theistic and atheistic, or I should say atavistic paradigms, and I've gotten results in both. Okay, so, if you're getting results, it doesn't even matter. You're never going to convince somebody that your belief system and your worldview is the only one when they have their own. It's not even logical. It doesn't make sense. Even if you perceive the sky is green, if you tell somebody else and they see it as blue, they're not going to believe you. This debate has been going on forever. And you're not going to win it. What makes you think you are the one that's going to win this debate? Why put forth so much effort into slander? Why well, put forth so much energy into this type of thing? It just doesn't make sense to me. So why even take part in it? I believe in spirits. But when people ask me whether I'm atheistic or theistic, I tend to answer by saying I'm both and I'm neither. And I leave it at that. I completely avoid the conversation. You know, the left-hand path is really about taking control of your life. So instead of, you know, trying to discredit other people, you need to be putting more energy into crediting yourself, proving yourself as something substantial within this world. Period. That's just the way it is. If not, you are rebuilding the walls of religion that we have worked so hard to break down. You are putting the shackles back on people that were liberated 
So, why do it? It's illogical. Don't focus on them. If you want to uh, talk about your worldview in a positive light and get your worldview across to other people, do it in a positive way. Okay, use it as a a trampoline to offer somebody one particular path of wisdom or knowledge. Don't try to credit yourself or empower yourself by taking power and success away from other people because you can't do that. You can try. But success is something that's earned. Your Facebook posts are not going to make people stop buying an author's books. They're just not going to do it. You know, if you're a theistic Satanist and you're discrediting, discrediting a, someone that follows a more atavistic path, you know, I think you should be spending more time in devotion to your craft. And the other way around, too. I mean, this applies both ways. Now, let me give you an analogy in regard to military arts, particularly jiu-jitsu, okay? Well, even any striking art. Regardless, for every submission hold, there is an escape and or counter. Nothing is set in stone in regard to uh, grappling. Nothing. It really comes down to who beats who to the punch. Who's got more experience and more skill at reading somebody's body movements. It has a lot to do with sensitivity. But the same applies to this debate. For every um, attack that you make, you're going to get countered. It might not be right away, but someone's going to think about your statements and your attacks, and then they're going to turn around and throw bombs back. So it's just spinning your wheels. It's useless. Be more introverted. Love yourself. You can't step onto this path filled with fear. And there are only two core emotions that exist, love and fear. We need to strive at all times to act out of love, because on this path, we can't afford to act out of fear. If you're acting out of fear and you're stepping onto this path just because you hate Christians and everything they stand for, you're going to undo yourself, and I don't care whether you're theistic or atheistic. You know, it's a... Uh, it's a curse on self. It's going to eat you alive. You're going to spend so much time attacking other people that you're not going to do anything with your life. Nothing. You're going to die unheard because nobody's listening to your crap anyway. And those that are, usually are just getting irritated. I don't know. You know, with that being said, I guess that's where I'm going to go with this. Love. Act out of love in everything that you do. So that you can get through the soul testing that comes along through this path, you know. This is really something I worked and learned through Mark Allen Smith's current. And, you know, I really do appreciate Mark as a person, so that's really why I choose to work as current with dedication. I do a lot of my own stuff, too, but one of the most important things that I've learned, I've learned through this current. And that most important thing is the importance of love and devotion.
love and devotion. Act out of love. We can't afford to act out of fear. Anything based on fear or in fear, anything that comes from fear, it's going to come and bite you in the butt because now, I don't believe in karma, but there is cause and effect. That's what magic is, really. I don't teach my children right and wrong. I teach them cause and effect. The most baneful magic should even be done out of love. There is no difference between divine love and divine wrath. They are one and the same, mutually dependent, not mutually exclusive. The most painful magic should be done for the greater good. You know, let's, let's not step on the left-hand path uneducated just for the sake of rebellion because Honestly, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of seeing it. I'm sick of people feeding the Hollywood stereotype by buying into it and following it like sheep. That's not a Satanist. It's just not. I'm sorry. So my advice to you Anybody who is thinking of walking the path against all others. Look inside. Write a list of reasons why you want to walk this path. I put, like, this is an, uh, an exercise, I, a concept I touched on briefly in another video, but you need to do this. You need to write down your reasons in regard to why you want to walk this path. Okay, and this does a few things. First of all, it's going to educate you in regards to self. It's going to help you understand where you wish to go so you can draw out an initiatory map to get there. It's going to educate you in regard to your own worldview and what you believe which is going to help you more effectively gather grimoires, books, and materials that are conducive to your worldview. Because if you believe in spirits as objective forces that exist outside of self, reading Anton LaVey is just going to be spinning your wheels because it's not going to fit here. Walk on this path with power and purpose. Not out of hate, not out of rebellion for the sake of rebellion. Make an educated choice and make sure it makes sense to you. Because if it doesn't make sense to you, you're just wasting your time, okay? All right, I'm done with my rant. I hope. Um, at least somebody gets something from this. I kind of doubt it, but hey, no one can say I didn't try. So um, with that being said, this is Palm Draconis, and I'm signing out. Later.